Hey guys, welcome to Tide TV. My name is Tide, and there are a lot of raids in World of Warcraft, and I have quite a few favorites. So today I'm going to be going over my top five favorite raids in World of Warcraft. Let's take a look. Oof, Next Ramus for number five. So the reason I love Next Ramus, um, it's got some pretty interesting aesthetics. Very old timey, reminds me of Warcraft Three, with all of the Scourge architecture. Um, the boss mechanics were okay. That's why I didn't put it very much higher. These mechanics were very simple. Um, didn't really go too far in depth aside from like the safety dance and maybe Keltazad's fight. Um, the gear looked really cool. It was a rehash from the old Naxxramas, considering I'm talking about the Wrath of Lich King one. And uh, the gear is a copy with a separate color scheme, which is, you know, not a bad thing. I don't like that we need frost resistance for the for the Seferion fight. I thought it was kind of dumb. Can we just take a moment and talk about uh, Thaddeus over here? He's a uh, construct made out of the skin of children and women. And during the raid, you hear them screaming until you kill him. Lovely. Alright, so for number four is going to be Hellfire Citadel. And that's because I am currently progressing through this raid and I have had a chance to appreciate it. Um, everything's green. That's the first thing you're going to notice. That's like the main color they used. They only had one palette and it was just a bunch of freaking greens. The boss fights are all really exciting and very diverse. We have a lot to worry about in the sense of what we're dodging and what your responsibility is as an individual player from wiping the raid. The raid itself is really well designed. It looks really nice. Um, all the boss arenas are really uh, different and interesting. The gear, however, is extremely simplistic. Most of the armors look like they were just flat textures. They don't have really anything exciting on them. There's no like skulls hanging off of them or anything. The monk one, you're literally just like a cloth wearing monk. You know, like they're not really that cool. I think Arch Mode is a crazy fight. It's really com complex and everybody has very individual and very specific responsibilities they need to worry about that can ruin the, ruin the raid and wipe the team. So I think that because of that difficulty, it kind of makes me like it more. It makes me have a strong challenge to have to go up against every week. Alright, for number three, I'm going to give it to Ice Crown Citadel. I have a lot of nostalgia here. This is one of my favorite raids. Um, I love it because not only is it a gorgeous raid, like all the other raids on this list, because I'm not going to put ugly raids up here. Um, it has a really great story. If you've played Warcraft 3, you've read any of the lore, you're, you were pretty excited to fight Arthas. This was kind of a really big turning point in the Warcraft lore, and the fact that we got to kill him was really exciting and really, really epic. Um, there's a lot of RP in this raid, so you find yourself waiting around a lot to listen to what they have to say. Like when you kill Sarfang's son, which is really sad, he has to carry him off. Now I play Horde, so you actually get to see him pick him up and walk him back to the ship. It's kind of a sad moment. The tier was really nice. The the Death Knight tier looked like Lich King's gear, so it's absolutely cool as hell, especially if you're a Death Knight. I did play Death Knight during this, this era. The raid itself just has a lot of charm to it, and has a lot of story behind it, a lot of lore behind it, which is one of the reasons why I think many people love this raid. So we're going to hop on board the bandwagon for this one, Karazhan. Everybody loves Karazhan, at least a lot of people that I know love Karazhan. Um, that's because who doesn't want to raid in uh, like a haunted mansion? Like There's literally ghosts just walking around all over the place. What else do you want? Seriously. And that's what I haven't even talked about my favorite part. There's a fucking theater inside Karazhan. A theater! And you get to like go on there and do like a play and fight like a boss and it changes every week. It's so fucking cool! What are you talking about? It's awesome! We have a theater inside Karazhan. That in itself is a good reason to put it at number two. The raid also changes drastically as you progress. It goes from being like a really cool spooky mansion to being like a really problematic demon infested um, raid. Really cool. I love this raid. And for my number one on this list, it's going to definitely go to my favorite raid, which is Ulduar. Now, everybody loves Ulduar too, because it's just beautifully designed, it has amazing aesthetics, and it's just a huge raid. Um, it's very freeform, you can go, over, go wherever you want and fight whatever boss you want in any order, save for yogg I have a lot of nostalgia here, I progressed through this raid, and I thought it was insane that mages get pants in this raid. There's no robe, there's no robe at all for mages. Robes go to Paladins this time, it's going to be Pants alone for Mages. And this is the only raid to date that gives Mages Pants. Actually, the tier here is the only tier gear in the entire game that is a shirt for Mages. And I think that is definitely really cool, something definitely to take note of. 
The raid itself has an awesome story, and it lets you take a good look into the past of Azeroth and how Azeroth was made and who's in charge of of keeping track of Azeroth. Elagon was kind of an important person. He actually came to reset our world until we uh, kicked his booty, and he was like, "All right, well, I guess, I guess we'll not destroy the world." But save for all the cool story that I don't know because I don't read very much, Ulduar is gonna stand at my top number one favorite raid in the game. So I'll catch you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, and I will see you guys next week. Take it easy.